Okay, here we are. This is the new location for the propane tank. Thousand gallon propane tank right there. Just got done clearing it. 40 feet away from that structure and about 80 feet back will be the riser. And kind of cleaned up, leveled out. A little sitting area back there. And uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. Drink coffee in the morning. But, uh, yeah, it's a good day today. It rained all night. You know, everything's real loose. Sheds, vinyl sheds didn't work out. They're too flimsy and the welds were off on my uh, bridge. And I just, nah, take them back. I'm just going to stick built something a little bit tougher. But, uh, and I keep saying, but uh, I'm going to build little vinyl tractor shed there but it's just too flimsy so i cleared out a space under the port which is perfect especially with the snow blower on there and uh and the atvs if i don't have time to build something they're gonna set here under a tarp of course uh the grizzly there gets a blade it's i've already i've had a blade on that thing forever so, yeah, trees are pretty thick back there. I am hand digging the connection, the two halves of the trench. Dug with my little tractor all the way from back there to uh, right about there, ran into a big old boulder, car sized boulder go around it there's another one down there but it was uh, just at two feet so I thought oh. and then uh, this is a combination of my neighbor and myself uh, he dug most of this trench you can see the difference mine's that narrow bucket and his is the wider one that's his tractor there we blew a bead over here trying to do the, the cut in the connection but, uh, yeah, what the heck, you know, stuff happens. There is another culvert pipe we got put in. In our road cloth, we got two rolls, 360 feet worth, 15 feet wide. And so we'll be working on that here shortly. A lot to do, soft grid living. Well, enjoying the heck out of it, just me up here. Mama had to stay down at my daughter's house and uh, work from home. But uh, as soon as we get Starlink up here, it'll work out. It's a matter of time. Here's the hole here. A four by four, seven feet deep. There's our wiring trench. This is going to be the solar tower, or yeah, solar tower. Yeah, there you go. It's going to be a pole about 12 feet up, and our solar ray is going to hook to it, and it'll be able to pivot with the sun. So our winter sun sets right at those treetops, dang it. But if we're up 12 feet, we'll be above it. So we'll be above it for quite a while. And the uh, sun comes up right over there. So after it's all in, we should get six to seven months of free energy. Generator won't even have to come on. Uh, that's going to be cool. That's where you make your savings right there. All the gas you would have burnt. Or propane. That's what this big tank is for, is the propane generator. So winter months, when you don't have that much sun, you get something to charge the batteries. But, uh, any hoot. Yeah, he blew a bead on his tire. Check this out. That's beet juice. I, I was pulling up with these blocks because I was going to throw them in the pit to build it up so we can drive through here. But we got a wraparound driveway and I made way down by all that gravel to where he can pass by it now. But this is beet juice. Blew a bead trying to turn it. So down that tree right there 
That was an interesting cut. <laughs> I had to put a safety rope up because I didn't know uh, the wind was vortexing up here, spinning around. One minute it's blowing to the east, next minute it's blowing to the west, and I needed it to fall to the east. So, a pretty good sized tree. Roped it off some come alongs. And, um, as I'm cutting through, I think I removed the logs that had. There's a big old stinking nail somewhere in here that I cut through. I think I pulled it out of this half. Yeah, but just about ruined my chain. I was able to resharpen it and gain enough tooth to fix the damage. So I gotta get my strap back. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty good sized tree. The only thing I've got that I can really mill up thinking that'll pop right out there we go I'll go 12s I'll cut this into 12s I'll only get one because there it is it forks up there so the rest of this I'm gonna give to my neighbor Jim for helping me dig it's all he wants he just wants uh, firewood and payment so fine with me we, we have a hard time uh, burning firewood right now because we got a Presto log stove. You can burn firewood, but Presto logs is so much nicer. There's the hot water. I love that hot water shower. You gotta drain it every time you use it though because we freeze up here now. Yeah, it's getting down in the 20s. So, that uh, shed's working out good. Got all my junk in there tools got to get it organized it's just taking time here we are we got the tire on neighbor's tractor got it all fixed up so he's taking it home coming back to get his truck and trailer that was one heavy tire and i kind of wish we would have had the camera going because it went together so perfectly lined up about an 800 pound tire full of liquid quad racer i think it's quick it's a 450 suzuki and uh got the fmf kit on it and it flies outright flies but uh, we'll get this all cleaned up in here then i can start tearing this cabin down this little place has got some history neighbor came over he subscribed to the channel and he says you know the history of this thing uh, yeah, kind of, you know, we read some newspaper clippings about the gangsters that used to live in here. Uh, the FBI ended up digging up this property all over the place looking for uh, buried people or something, or drugs, money, they were bank robbers, and all kinds of crazy stuff. But uh, someday we'll talk about it. We've got the write-up in there, about a five-page telling the story. And that's, that's Mama's little raised bed garden. She's going to plant some stuff in there. We're going to get some wood shavings and put wood shavings on top to hold everything down. All right. Everything's working out good. Show you up here. All my fishing poles. Store up there, backpacks and stuff. And kayaks. We got four kayaks up there. Oh, and then good old wood stove man that thing it heats that little place all day you know all you do is throw a log in every four hours two logs will burn eight and it just stays the same you know the same flame just uh pretty amazing but, uh, yeah. and this is harper's water tank scaffold water in the garden we'll get a couple tanks up there fill them and uh, then she'll have water to play with so, until we get the well the well is going to be next year about a year and a half from now there's like 300 people waiting in line with the company we're using it just blows me away so many wells but yeah that's it man a lot of digging it work out great. You gotta build a uh, 8 by 12 or 8 by uh, 16 watershed back there. And 
the generator is going to set off the back of it and we're going to have a two-stage system riser attached right to the third leg in from the front of the camper and then we'll have uh, the thousand gallon propane tank hooked into the RV for our little heater and it's probably going to last us about three years fill it every three years I don't know we'll see once the generator starts working then that's that's the true teller there what it's going to be There's where I'm parking the tractor for the winter. I'm gonna build the snow blower, put it on. And it's raining right now, so hope my ditches don't fill up with water. That wouldn't be good. But it's not supposed to be heavy downpours. So, yeah, trim up that tree here when I get a break. Just got done uh, building the battery rack it's going to go across the tongue here we're going to have uh, four deep cycle 100 amp energy batteries oh, just like those okay. so, and then I'm going to build a little back seat so I don't have to keep switching that seat around uh, when I was digging the ditch I just I've got a pad back there I laid over those uh, prongs and it, it didn't stick me fortunately but uh, yeah, I need a little seat right there so I don't have to keep switching that seat around maybe a little bicycle seat or something I don't know. I'll figure out something that's not a bad idea heading back up for the weekend I got Harper we're gonna come and see Grandpa spend the weekend Yay! Okay, good morning, family and friends. And thank you to the new subscribers. So I think we're getting subscribers that are not immediate family and friends. So thank you very much. Okay, so it has been raining. Dwayne's around here somewhere. Let's take a look at all that he did this week while I was working. I see that he's got lights in the shed. So this is solar powered, so that's cool. Let's put the tractor under the carport and he is building a ledge to put more batteries up here. Because we have two more Renogy batteries. Looks like he is creating a new area inside these trees. We want to build a place where we can hang hammocks and have a little, little small fire pit. So we have to clean all this up, trim these trees way up. It probably won't happen this year, but who knows? This looks good. Our thousand gallon propane tank has arrived. So we purchased this outright, then we have freedom to get gas who, where we want. Looks like he's been digging the trench. So this trench goes out to where the solar panel pedestal will be. This trench, and these are two feet deep. This trench goes all the way over here. And this is where the pedestal will be for the RV. And then it'll eventually go to the cabin. Okay, now we're gonna walk over to see the pit, maybe where the solar panel pedestal will be. And it's cold. My fingers are cold. Ooh, check this out. Whoa, that's so scary. Ooh, don't drop my phone in there. Oh. Wow, he's done a lot. So our neighbor, Jim, we call him Jim Neighbors. He's a super sweet man. And he helped Dwayne dig that because he's got a bigger tractor. <laughs> All right, let's go t touch base with Dwayne. That's it, man. Good day, and I'm going to get back to work. I gotta, I gotta make this connection here. My pick and shovel and bar. 